Good afternoon, this is Jim Lakey with news announcements for St. John and Maxville, Kansas on Cable 3 channel and also on Sandy Land Center .org. and if you don't take cable or you miss the broadcast you can look on sandylandcenter.org a little later and you can look at all of the news broadcasts and county commissioner meetings and things like that as far as history, it's all on our website at sandylandcenter.org. Today is Monday. It's the 6th of June, and it's only 84 in the square, and it's on its way to 88 with a sunny day. Uh, tomorrow, the coolest day of the week, and that will be sunny, but it will be 84 for the high temperature. <clears throat> And then we move along into a more seasonable or summer kind of weather. Partly cloudy on Wednesday, 90 the high temperature. Cloudy on Thursday, 93 the high temperature. Friday, sunny and 95. And then on uh, Saturday, sunny and back to 93. So it's going to get really warm toward the end of the week. And we're very pleased to say happy Happy birthday to Amy McVeigh, and uh, tomorrow happy anniversary to Mike and Jessica uh, Leroy. We hope that you both have uh, pretty good weather for your birthdays and that you have a great birthday. Well, we have some, uh, a few of our ordinary things and then one special thing to talk about at the end. And so the first things are the trips. Uh, for the Recreation Commission. And uh, this week, Saturday, they're going on a pizza and movie trip. And they start at Poppy's Pizza in the evening at 5.15 to 6.15 and then have pizza. Then they leave at 6.15 for Great Bend. And at 7 o'clock, they're there. And you have your choice of movies at Golden Belt Cinema 6, and there are several all at once that you can choose from. And then they'll be back home at 10 o'clock here to St. John. And then the Lunch Bunch is going to have a brunch in Great Bend at Perkins, and that's going to be Tuesday the 14th. And they leave at 9, and they have uh, uh, some shopping trips that, if requested, they could make. Uh, but in the meantime, they'll be back by lunchtime here in St. John, and the, uh, lunch, or the brunch is at Perkins. And that's really a great place to get a brunch. They have quite an interesting menu. And the cost is $5 for transportation, and then you pay your own brunch bill. And then the final trip will be on June 29 on Wednesday, and a lot of that will depend on the weather, and they're having it in the evening in order to keep it from being too hot. So if, it, if the weather is good, they'll leave at 4 in the afternoon. They'll be in the casino from 5 to 8.30, and then they'll return home by around 10. And the fee is $10 for transportation. And don't forget to sign up and check and make sure they have enough people or that the weather is good. All right, then we come to a real main thing, and that's the, the different fellowship meals that the centers have in our county, particularly in St. John and Maxville. And in Maxville, they're having a choice of lemon-baked fish or marinated pork roast with parsley and potatoes. Then on uh, Tuesday, uh, spaghetti with meat sauce and a tossed salad. And on, tur <laughs> on turkey, on Thursday, they're having turkey with cranberry sauce and sweet potatoes. And meanwhile, over here at the Sunflower Senior Center in St. John, Fellowship meal. They're having pork chop supreme today with uh, parceled noodles and meatballs with gravy tomorrow with mashed potatoes and Wednesday baked fish and rice pilaf. And so 
again, the seniors have really good choices to make and things to eat. And uh, that's one of the good things about St. John is that we have things like that. Well, uh, before we quit, uh, it is a news item. <coughs> and uh, the Ministers Alliance and the Shepherd Center got turned down to be able to have second chances be exempt from the real estate tax. And so second chances is, we believe, a humanitarian community service. And we're getting letters from individuals who think that they would impress the, uh, the state, uh, you know, like any business owner or any leader of an organization or just somebody who volunteers, perhaps, uh, would write a letter and we're, we're applying to be thought of as a humanitarian service. And this is a ministry of the St. John Hudson Ministers, and all six, if I count right, churches are supporting this ministry, and we really think that it should be tax-exempt for real estate purposes because of the good that we do with the community helping with low-cost items for people that are very poor to be able to have clothes, but also that money, if any, is raised, goes along with other things that the Ministers' Alliance raised for money and is used to do things like help transients, uh, to uh, help people with their gas and electric bills, to guarantee sometimes people for the city so they can turn on their electricity, and many other things that the, the ministers do as a unit. And we're unique in St. John because all of the churches thought it would be better to do a lot of these ministries as ministries done by all the churches or most of the churches in town rather than just one church because it is for everyone, even for people who don't like churches. So we really feel we should be tax exempt and we would ask you if you're a person who prays to say prayers that we would find favor with the state tax people and they would do what we think is obvious because it is a humanitarian service. Well, uh, again, we have a timely word of the day and we should take this to heart. <clears throat> Some folks say they aim to please and we would urge all of everyone, including the tax people, to get more target practice. This is Jim Lakey with news and announcements, and we wish you a good day from the Shepherd Center.